Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see how to do stream processing while reading a file and when we are processing them line by line. Okay. So I'm going to show you an example of uh, how to read a file using streams and how we can use streams, the power of streams to process the files line by line. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the pom.xml in this particular project and I'm going to print um, the line which has name in it. Okay. That is what I'm going to do here. So let me copy the path so that it will be useful for me while I'm coding. So let's get started. So I can use the files API. So files is the API which is going to give me something called lines. So it has lots of uh, different uh, uh, utilities. I'm going to use the line utility which is going to return me a string. If you notice here, it is going to return me a stream of strings. So this is going to read a line from a file. And in order to read it, we need to give the paths. So we need to use the paths API to get the path of the file. So I'm just giving the path of the file here. So I need to add the, right? So this is going to give me a stream. So if you see here, this particular file.lines, okay, files.line, it's going to give me a stream of string. So which is basically a stream of lines. So using the stream, again, you can do stream processing, like how we use the streams inside collection. So I can do a filter here because we need to filter out uh, uh, the uh, lines which we don't want, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say for each line, check if the line dot, if the line contains the string which has name, then move ahead. So what I'm doing is I'm filtering out the lines which don't have the name in it. Okay, then now let's say what we can do, we can do some map again. So we can just transform that particular line into a uh, into something else, right? So for example, in the POM, we are going to get this particular line object, right? So what I can do is I can just strip this off, uh, I can just remove the name, um, like tags, we can do that in the map. Or you can do flat map and then do some processing again over that. Okay, so you can use any of the features from that particular um, stream processing API because um, it's, it's, it's using streams, right? So you can do whatever you want here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use map, but I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to return the same uh, just for simplicity, right? And finally, what I'm going to do is if you see here, uh, the compiler itself is saying, why are you using it if you're not doing anything? So let's say I'm going to do substring. So I'll just do a substring or I'll do a replace. Okay, I'll ju I'm just going to do a replace so that uh, I'm just removing all the string with the name right I'll just do a replace all Okay, I'm just going to replace all with empty and now again, uh, finally, I need to do some more things, right? So I'll do replace all of this also with this. And also this also with this. I'll replace slash also with this, right? Okay, this is just a sample program, so don't get offended if the code is not great. Okay, so what I'm going to do finally is I'm just going to collect this into a list, right? So I'm just I can use the collectors dot to list. So I can remove this. Okay, cool. Now, once we have collected, we need to now print it, right? So we have to store it somewhere. I'll just store somewhere and then I'll just say print this guy. So let me run this program. So what this program is going to do, it is going to read this pom.xml and it is going to traverse through each and every line. Okay, and it is going to filter only this particular line and we are stripping off these name and um, the name tags and it is going to print us only the Java 8. 
okay i'm going to run this particular uh, program now so we should uh, see only the name which is the java 8 which should be listed out right yep we got it here if you notice here we are just uh, getting only the java 8 which is inside the list right since we had some space i think the space is coming in the front so we can do a trim if you need so we can just say dot trim right and if i rerun this it should go away the space should go away right so this is how you read a file okay if you want to read multiple files what you can do is you can give uh, the multiple file paths here so you can uh, go ahead and uh, include multiple file paths for the uh, paths.get api so it will read multiple files in a line okay and it is going to process them as a stream so you can use that um, use the stream api to do whatever processing you want you can use maps you can use uh, flat maps and whatever what not right and then finally you can do some collect or if you want to do any processing here if you want to parse the line do something you can use that in the map and then convert that into a destination transformed object so you can do that here and then this is how you use the streams api to uh, parse a file and then proceed with it okay hope you hope you found that interesting so if you want me to make any particular video on any particular topic inside stream i can do that so this topic was requested by one of the users so that is why i had uh, done this particular video so hope you liked it so meet you again in the next video thank you very much